Punnikanthi Vijayanayake is one of Sri Lanka's best known English writers. She was born in Colombo in 1933. Her writing is recognized for its simple yet powerful style which holds the reader's attention. She published her first collection of short stories, The Third Woman in 1963. Since then, she has published 6 novels and 4 collections of sh- short stories with more than 100 stories published in newspapers. journals and anthologies locally and internationally as well as broadcast in sri lanka and on bbc although she has spent most of her life in colombo she initially used rural villages as her theme only later turning to urban themes the short story narrates the life of a young samanera and his love towards the monkeys in the forest nearby which he visits every afternoon the boy carries a bit of food with him every time he visits the forest He feeds the monkeys and plays with them. Love is what he experiences every time he sp- uh, spends time with the monkeys. At the time of departure, he hates leaving the monkeys as he has to go back and complete the chores at the hermitage. Waking up early at 4 every morning to meditate and then complete the chores only to leave later on to beg for food and in the end come back to the monkeys. This was the monotonous life he had led every day. The thought of being monkey seemed to please him as the love of the monkey shared between themselves is what he longed for. One night he was bathing he saw his own reflection in the water to be that of a monkey only to realize after distorting the still water that it was just a trick of the mind. Later when the boy was sweeping the compound with a broom he noticed that the same monkeys had followed him there and were sitting on the tree tops. The same monkeys and hordes had followed him to the hermitage and this time they boldly started jumping and running in the hermitage disturbing the pe- priest of their morning meditation. The monkeys created a havoc by throwing the fruits grown by the chief priest around and ringing, ringing the temple bells. After this incident the chief priest led the young samanera to an inner room. He made him understand the difference between men and animals and how the life of Samanera is different from those of animals and other human beings. At the end of the story he looks back at the rock and the trees of the last time and turns away as now he must remember that after all he is a man. The prevalent themes in the prose are that of love and humanity though the prose throughout the prose love acts as the constant as the young boy craves it but never shows it. The life of Samanera and the sacrifices involved in leading such life are the ones he be thought of very carefully. Abandoning the sense of human life that is love to break the cycle of rebirth seems to be the effective conclusion of the life of a Samanera. As the boy longed for love, he had to be told in the end that it is not the kind of love he could lead. Having peace within oneself is what is necessary as compared to love and other pity functions of life. The theme of the story revolves around a child who is yearning for love and freedom but has nothing to sacrifice for his love. The little boy is deprived of parental love and care from his birth and is confined to the rules and practices at the hermitage. There is no one to give him love. He may get compassion and understanding but not love. The whole idea of love is seen in a matter of complexity in the story where the child is struck between his desires and the expectations of the society he lives in. In this case the line of society is that of saints and priest. He is unwillingly led to believe that the life of self-renunciation is what a man or woman should look for. He is told that one must try to escape from the continuous cycle of birth and rest in peace as a soul with the God Almighty himself. He is made to believe that whether he may or may not want to but he is destined to live the harsh life of a monk. This can be compared to the idea of an elephant who does not realize that it can break away from the chains of slavery or the chains of agony which he is bound to and doesn't even try to because he is made to believe from his early years that he cannot break free and just like many of us succumb to the pain and sufferings. The story monkeys tells us how important it is to follow our dreams and aspirations and try to achieve them irrespective of the societal norms and restrictions.